Hello once again. How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope it gets better. And now I'm on chapter 8. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle and that was with him. In the ark. And God made a wind pass over the earth and the waters a sway. And the fountains also of the deep and of the... And the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned off the earth continually, and after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated. And the ark rested on the seventh month, on the seventeenth day of the month, on upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters deceased continually until the tenth month, and the tenth month, in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the windows of the ark which he had made, and set forth a raven which went forth to and fro and, until the waters were dried up from the earth, off of the earth. He also sent a dove from, he sent from, forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated off the face of the ground. And the dove found no rest for the soles of her foot, and she returned unto him and to the ark, and the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her into him into the ark, and he stayed yet another seven days. And again he sent forth the dove out of the ark, and the dove came unto him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So no one knew that the waters were abated off the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days, and sent forth the dove, and she, which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass on the six hundredth and first year in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth and Noah removed the covering from the ark and looked and behold the face of the ground was dry and in the second month on the seventh and twentieth day of the earth of the month excuse me was the earth dried I'm sorry and God spake unto Noah saying the fourth go forth of the ark and thou and thy wives and thy sons and thy sons wives bring forth with thee every living thing that is in in with thee in all flesh both fowl and cattle and creeping things that creepeth upon the earth that they may breed abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth and Noah went forth his sons his wives and his sons wives and every beast and creeping thing, and every fowl, and whosoever creepeth upon the earth after the, his kind went forth out of the ark. And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took every clean beast, and every clean fowl, and, and offered a burnt offering on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor, and, savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for... The imagination of men's hearts is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite every living thing as I have done. While the earth remained, the seed and the harvest. I'm sorry. Uh, every man... It, while the earth remaineth, the seed time, the harvest, the cold, the heat, the summer, and the winter, and the day and night shall not cease. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And you, be fruitful, and multiply, bringing abundantly forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And I will remember my covenant with man, which, which is made... I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature and all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And I will put a bow 
and shall set it in the clouds, and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature and all flesh that is upon the earth. God is going to destroy the earth again, not with water. I don't know exactly how he's going to do it, but I do know it's not going to be with a flood. But I do know, just like in Noah's day, we won't know when the end of time is. It will happen, and then it will be too late for you to be asking for you to see your sins. I hope you have a good and blessed day. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Goodbye.